home is nice and quiet, so you can come into um, a peaceful body, a peaceful mind. So either cross your legs or come into a kneeling position. You can choose. In yoga, we have lots of choices. Just close in this door. There's a bit of a draft. So cross-legged, I'm going to go cross-legged. You can also use something to sit on, a pillow, a block, and then just close our eyes. Immediately sit still. Notice how you feel. How your physical body is feeling tonight. If it is very easy for you to sit still, or if there is a, a sensation or a tendency to want to fiddle and move, try to commit to sitting still and just noticing the contact of your legs with the floor, with the mat, the sit bones. And then sit a little bit more taller. So open the chest, feel the length to the crown of the head. And then notice your breath. Slow breaths in through the nose. And then if you can, slow breaths out of the nose as well. Just a moment to check in. To come into a physical and mental and maybe even emotional space of just allowing to be with what is and allowing to give yourself this hour of moving, breathing, observing and just being. Place the hands together in front of the heart and for me this gesture has become even more important than when we were practicing physically together in the same space. Because while I put my hands together, I know you are doing the same at the same time. So it connects us even stronger. So even though we are physically not together, through the gesture, we greet each other and we acknowledge each other's beauty and willingness to come to our mats. And you can set your intention now. So you can dedicate your class to someone or just work with a specific intention. And the intention can be linked to the reason why you came to your mat. And then bow your head towards your thumbs to just seal that intention in. And then we'll start with a pranayama breathing exercise. So bring your arms above your head, interlace your fingers and release your index fingers. Relax your shoulders away from your ears and we'll go for Kapalabhati breaths. So if you know Kapalabhati, go ahead. Otherwise, I will also explain it. You relax your belly and you start to snap your, na your navel in and up. You can exhale out of the nose or out of the mouth. We'll be here for a minute. If it gets too much for your shoulders, bring your hands down. Look at the horizon, up we go. Feel free to close your eyes if that makes you feel more comfortable and you can connect with what you're feeling. Relax the belly. Maybe a little faster. Inhale to look forward, 
Exhale to release your twist. Inhale, arms up towards the sky. Now twist to the other side. Exhale. Again, lift your gaze. Open the collarbones. Open the heart. And then start to breathe slowly and deeply. Notice both sit bones into the block or into your mats. Notice the expansion of the ribs of the rib cage on each inhale. One more round of breath. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, release. Arms come up towards the sky. Palms touch. Bring the palms to heart center and then roll over your shins to child's pose. Bring whatever prop to the side. Bring the big toes to touch and your heels come down or your hips come down towards your heel. And this is child's pose. And child's pose is important. You can come here whenever you want. So in yoga, there's no, you should, you have to. It's a, it's a practice of sensations. It's a practice of integration, of healing, of kindness. Of course we challenge ourselves, but if it gets too overwhelming, you just come back to, to this shape, to child's pose. Lift your head and thread the needle, so the right arm comes underneath the left. You can bring the left hand onto fingertips. So you can walk your spider walk your left hand forward, and your right palm is facing up. Right ear is on the mat. Notice the stretch on the outside of the right shoulder. Relax your skin on your face. Two more rounds of breath. Inhale, come back to your child's pose. And then exhale, do the same thing to the other side. Left ear to the floor, bring your left a palm facing up, right hand on the fingertips, walk your hand a little bit further, maybe even slide your left arm a little bit more to the right, and then pause, take three more rounds of breath. All right, lift your head, place both hands flat to the floor and come to a tabletop. Hands are under your shoulders, knees are under your hips. Look up and bring your tailbone up. This is called a cow stretch. And then stretch it out to a cat stretch all the way around the spine. Two more rounds like that. Inhale, look up, tailbone comes up. Exhale, round the spine, chin to chest. Maybe look at the belly button. One more time, breathe in. Breathe out. Now stay in your cat stretch. Tuck your toes and hover your knees just above the floor. Start to bring more weight to the hands so the shoulders are above the wrist. Lovely. Take one more deep breath in. And then walk your hands forward to plank pose. Walk your hands and your feet on the spot. Hands are under your shoulders. Feel your hip width apart. Lovely work. Take a deep breath in here. All the way down to the belly, you can use your knees to come down to the belly. Lovely. Cobra pose. Breathe in. Lift the chest. Press the toenails into the floor. Hardly any weight in the hands. And then exhale, bring the nose back down to the floor. Three more rounds. Inhale, come up. Press the toenails into the floor as well. Lift the knees. Exhale, come back down. Let the breath be your guide. Breathe in. Fill up the lungs. One more set of ribs. Feel off the floor. Exhale, bring it back. Last one here. Big breath in. Float the chest off the floor. Big breath out. Surrender back down. Soften. Tuck your toes. Breathe into the pair. Table or plank pose. Exhale. Hold. Breathe in. Soft bend to knees, downward facing dog, lift your tailbone up towards the sky. Take a deep breath into the nose. And then sigh it out, exhale. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, step or jump to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, fold forward, dive forward. Rise, high mountain, press all the way up. Hands above your head. 
Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, arms up, high mountain. Hold on to your right wrist and come into a half moon variation. Bringing your hips to the right. Yeah. Feel that space on the right side of the body. And now lift your chin a little bit. Yes, find that length. Back to center, breathe in, change sides, exhale. Half moon variation. Softly hold on to that left wrist. Press the hips to the left, navel into spine. Lift the chin a little, looking good. Take a breath in, back to center. Hands to a heart center, exhale. Open your wings and look up. Heart lifts, back bend. Fold forward, dive forward, all the way down, exhale. Inhale, halfway lift. Left foot steps to the back of your mat. Right arm wings up towards the sky, couple of circles in the right wrist. If this is too much for you, just place the knee down to the floor. Otherwise, really active left leg. Take a deep breath in, look up. Both hands down to the floor, exhale. Look forward, inhale. Pyramid pose, draw it back. And now flex your right foot. Let's take a flex foot variation and draw the nose to the knees. Three breaths here. Soften the shoulders. Maybe close your eyes, feel your breath. Come forward, back into your lunge, inhale. Drop the left knee down to the floor, exhale. Anjana Yasana, arms up towards the sky. Twist to your right, exhale. Inhale, Anjana Yasana. Half splits, exhale. Tuck your back toes so your left toes are tucked. And now stand all the way up to present lunge. Readjust your feet. Fabulous. Deep breath in here. Hands to heart center. Close your eyes for three breaths. Feel the wobbling. Right knee above your ankle. If you're wobbling too much and you're falling over, just open the eyes. Good work. Inhale, arms up towards the sky. Exhale, hands down, frame the foot. Look forward, breathe in. Both feet top of the mat, fold forward, breathe out. Rise, high mountain, grow tall, arms above your head. Hands to heart center, exhale. Inhale, high mountain, reach up. Hold on to the left wrist, half moon, just one breath. Press the hips to the side, see where the body can go. Inhale, back to center. Through to the other side, nice yogis, exhale. Inhale, back to center, palms to touch, hands to heart center. Back bend, open the arms as if you've got huge wings and look up, breathe in. Fold forward, dive forward, exhale. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen hands can come to shin. And then right leg steps, huge big step. Front knee above the ankle, drop the knee or keep it off the floor. Left arm up towards the sky, easy twist. You can look up if your neck allows for that. Couple of circles in the wrist. Take a deep breath in, reach up. Both fingertips, hands down to the floor. Look forward, inhale. Pyramid pose to hold and stretch and breathe and relax. Maybe close your eyes, take three rounds of breath. Bend your left knee, come back forward into your low lunge. Exhale, drop the right knee to the floor. Arms up, inhale, Anjana Yasana. Twist to the left, exhale. Back to center, breathe in. And then tuck your back toes, exhale. And stand all the way up, inhale, pleasant lunge. Hands to heart center, close your eyes. Maybe step the right foot a little out to the right, a little in, close your eyes, hold and breathe. Relax the skin on your face. Open 
your eyes, arms up towards the sky, breathe in, hands frame your left foot, breathe out, step back, plank pose. Now, we've got different yogis with different experiences, different bodies, we are all different. So Shatoranga, I'm just going to explain to you, come forward, you can also drop to the knees, and then come halfway only, halfway only, 90 degrees in the elbows, it's a half push up. Good. Point your toe. Point the other toe. Thighs stay off the floor. This is upward facing dog. A lovely back bend. Good. Point your toes. Chin to chest. Downward facing dog. Exhale. Good. Take a deep breath into the nose. And then sigh it out. Inhale. Bend your knees and look forward. Exhale. Step jump float to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, fold forward, relax your neck and shoulders. Chair pose, inhale, Utkatasana. Sit nice and low. So you're sitting in a little chair. You can wiggle your toes so the weight is in the heels. And then you can lift the arms next to your ears or keep the hands to heart center. Whatever works best for your shoulders. Take a deep breath in here. Fly your chair, bring your arms behind you and lift your heels. Look at your drishti, a focus point in front of you on the floor. And then lift your heels a little higher. Sink your bum a little lower. Lift your heart a little bit more. For three, you're looking good. Two, high mountain, inhale, bounce it back up. Hands to heart center, exhale. Inhale, back bend, open the heart, open your wings, look up. Dive forward, bend the knees, fold forward, relax your neck and shoulders. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Step your left foot to the back of your mat. Good, we rise, crescent lunge immediately. Strong into the legs and we hold the arms above our head. Take a deep breath in here. And now twist to the right, hover the left knee just above the floor. Two more like that. Inhale up. Twist, hover the knee just above the floor. One more time. Breathe in. Twist, exhale. Inhale back to center. Slice it open, warrior two. So let's just pause here for the people that are relatively new. Right toes forward, right knee tracks in the direction of the toes and the left toes are in compared to the heel. Hips are open, arms are horizontal. Yeah, you can even close your eyes. And for the people that are more advanced, you can tuck your tailbone. Try instead of having a hanging open belly. Yeah, tuck it under. Lovely work. Look at your right hand, flip the palm, reverse warrior. Right arm comes up towards the sky. Take a deep breath in. Extended side angle, reach the arm forward and then reach the left arm up towards the sky. Or next to your ear and start to look under your armpit towards the sky. Very nice. Very, very nice. Reverse triangle. Extend both legs and both arms. Come all the way up and over. And now wiggle your hands back to the right foot. Lift your left heel, we're back into your low lunge. Look forward, breathe in. Shiva squat with the left knee behind the right. Exhale. Standing splits. Breathe in. Lift your left leg. Hold and breathe. You can bring the right hand to the right calf. You can even bring the left hand on top of the right hand. Find your balance. Breathe. Point the left toes up towards the sky. Higher, higher, higher. Smile. Breathe. For three. Two. Feet together, fold forward, nice and controlled movements. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Yogi's choice, step jump float, chaturanga. So either you step, you jump or you float, halfway on an exhale. Breathe in for upward facing dog. Breathe out for downward facing dog. Alright, let's drop to the knees. And come into dolphin pose. So if you know dolphin pose and you want to even maybe work into a pinching, have a 
have some fun. If you want to set it up from the beginning, nice alignment is to hold on to the opposite elbow. Why do we do that? So we are sure that our elbows are the same width as our shoulders. Very often the elbows go out, but that brings pressure into your shoulder joints. So let's do this together. Hold on to the opposite elbow, and then put your lower part of the arms as in number 11, and then come into downward dog on your elbows. That's it. Now walk your feet a little closer and press your chest back. Do that a couple of times. Walk your feet closer, press your chest back. Good. Now look somewhere in between your arms or somewhere between your elbows. Find a point on the floor and lift your right leg up. Right leg up towards the sky. Find a drifty. Hops. Ten hops. Ten. Maybe you clap your feet. Maybe you find a pinchy. Good. Five. Four. Three. Two. Looking good. Child's pose embryo variation. Knees together. Hands to feet. Pause. Breathe. Three rounds of breath. Feel your heart rate. Feel your breath. Maybe a sigh. <sighs> All right, bring your hands back forward. Tabletop, curl the toes under. Plank to downward facing dog, full stretch. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, step or jump to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway and lengthen. Exhale, fold forward, dive. Relax the neck and shoulders. Chair pose, Utkatasana. Inhale. And now the right knee comes in towards your chest. Wing removal pose. Find your balance. Balance poses, it helps to focus your eyes. To keep breathing. To keep smiling. <laughs> Very important. Good work. Take a deep breath in here. Eagle pose, hug the right knee or the right leg, hug it over, squeeze the thighs, and then it's the right arm that comes under the left. I'm doing your mirror image. Your right toe can stay on the floor, off the floor, or maybe nice vessel, looking good. That's it. That's it, very nice. For three, sink a little deeper, lift the Elbows, shoulders away from the ears. Two, single leg Tadasana. Lift the right knee up into the chest, but reach it close to the chest without holding it. Maybe kick the leg out to the front. Woo! For three, two, feet together, Samastiti Hi. Close your eyes, now feel. Yoga is about feeling, it's about sensations. It's about noticing, noticing the subtle, the heart rate, the sweat, the breath, and keep smiling. Chair pose, Utkatasana. You can open your eyes again, very nice. And now the other leg, your left knee in towards your chest. Take your time, shoulders away from the ears, find your balance. And on the one side, it might be easier to balance than on the other side. Maybe you're very wobbly on this side, totally fine. No judgment, no attachment. Nice. All right, breathe in here. There we go. Hug, hug, hug. Squeeze those thighs together. Left arm under the right. Left leg over. Looking good. Nice. Now you might notice that your knees want to go to the right side. So can you pull them a little bit more? To yes, that's it, Vesso. I saw that adjustment. I can still see you. <laughs> can almost sense your energy. <laughs> Very nice. Sink a little deeper for three, two, right. Single leg to dasana. Maybe kick that leg out to the front. Feel the shaking for three. Reach up for the fingers, through the fingers. Two, feet together. Hands to heart center. Open your wings, look up. Back bend, fold forward softly, dive forward, relax your neck and shoulders. 
Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen the spine. Right foot steps to the back of your mat and we stand up to crescent lunge, arms above your head. Maybe interlace the fingers, feel the shape. Take a deep breath in. Twist to the left, right hand reaches to the front, left hand reaches to the back. Two more times, inhale, twist, exhale. Back to center, breathe in. Now sink a little deeper, hover the right knee. Good. Crescent lunge. Inhale. Slice open, warrior two. Exhale. Left toes pointing straight forward. You can check them with your eyes. Make sure your knee is tracking safely in the direction of the toes. Right toes in. Then you can even hold onto the hips, nice and open. And then relax your shoulders. Reverse your warrior. Bring your left arm up. And send the left knee to the front, to the front, to the front. Find length. Breathe in. But with the same length on the left side of the body, bring that forward for extended side angle. Yeah, fabulous. Press into both feet. Reverse triangle. Lift your left arm up towards the sky. Wiggle your hands back down. Lift your right heel. Low lunge. Look forward, breathe in. Shiva squat, right knee hugs behind the left. You can walk the fingers a little forward and then inhale to point that right toe up towards the sky. You're pretending that you can touch the sky above your head. And then you can balance, you challenge your balance by bringing the left hand to the calf. And then you probably walk that right hand a little out. Or this side is harder for me. I'm better on my right leg. Yes. For three, two, fold forward, feet together or hip width apart and relax. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Yogi's choice, Chaturanga. So from a high plank, toes or knees, prepare to breathe in. Shift forward, 90 degrees. Inhale, Point your toes, lift the thighs, look at the horizon, exhale, downward facing up. Come back to your knees and then we do dolphin other side. So hold on to the opposite elbows, onto the floor, arms go down. And this time walk, 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 press, 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 walk, toes, toes, press your chest back. So you're moving your shoulders away from those elbows. Good. When you feel you can't go any further, find your focus with your eyes. Lift your left leg, bend the right knee, and start to make ten hops. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Maybe you can hold. Press into your thumbs. Focus your eyes. I lost count. I think another two, and embryo pose. Knees down, hands to feet, three breaths to pause, breathe, and reset. Make the thoughts in your mind kind and supportive. Hands come forward, tabletop, breathe in, tuck your toes, plank to downward facing dog. Now look at your index fingers, they are parallel to each other, parallel to the long edge of the mat, and spread the other fingers away. Full palm onto the floor, and it's, it's more important to have a straight spine than to have straight legs. Really feel the length in the spine. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, step or jump to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, fold forward, relax. Rise, high mountain, come all the way up towards the sky. Hands to heart center, exhale. Dance this pose on your right side. So I'll mirror you again. You're going to use the right leg 
the right heel comes close to your bum. Open the palm so you can hold on to the big toe side. This is going to be challenging, Barry. Vessel, give me your best dances. And now, Vessel, I know you do very well. So you start to kick the foot in the hand. Start to reach. That's it. Yeah. Focus your eyes. Wobbly, wobbly, wobbly. If you would let go of the foot, it would kick backwards. It's almost like you're kicking against your foot wall, but now you're kicking against your own hand. Now dare to go to the edge for three. Yeah, maybe you lose the balance. It's okay. Feel the wobbly on your standing leg. Two. Slowly come out. Take a deep breath in. Feet together. Side. <sighs> Other side. These poses are beautiful to open the heart. And they're also very healthy, very good for your spine. So it's important that the left armpit is open. So the thumb is up. Thumb is up, stays up. Hold on to the inside of the foot. Find your focus point for your eyes. And off you go. There you go. Show me what you're made of. Reach through the left fingers. The fingers and the toes are important. The extremities of your body, even though maybe you can't see your left toes, they are active. Yeah. Reach a little further forward and up. Nice, nice. Wobbly, wobbly, wobbly. Awesome. For three, go to your edge. Two. You might fall. That's fine. And one. Summer city he stillness. Close your eyes and just feel your heart rate, the temperature of your body, and your breath. Slow down the breath. Beautiful. Inhale, open the arms, open the wings. Another little back bend. Look up, fold forward, slowly dive forward, bending the spine forward, relax neck and shoulders. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Left foot steps, low lunge, rise. Stand up, crescent lunge, arms above your head. Take a deep breath in and now bring the palms to heart center. Lovely. Lift the heart towards your thumbs. A twist to the right, we place our elbow on the outside of the right thigh. Different yogis, different people, different options. Stay here, twist away from the thigh. You can also drop the left knee down. And if you feel like, mm -hmm, I want a challenge, then you start to shift the weight to the right foot and lift the left leg up towards the wall behind you. They are all fine. Looking good, very awesome vessel. That's it. Very nice. Keep your hips square for three. We'll meet in crescent lunge for two. Lift the heart a little vessel. Heart a little. Yeah, that's it. Crescent lunge. Inhale, arms above your head. Ooh, nice landing. Warrior two. Exhale, slice it open. Reverse warrior. Breathe in. Extended side, and you'll reach the arm forward, and then the left arm comes up towards the sky. Good. Reverse triangle, extend both legs and both arms. And then we come to full triangle pose. Personally, I like to have the stance a little shorter. So I often toe heel my back foot a little in, and the left toes are in compared to the heel. And then I like to hold on to my hips, and kind of go into a Betty Boo. It's a Betty Boo dance. So you bring the hip, boom! The left bar is sticking out. Yes, and then you reach the right arm forward and the left arm back, as if you're being pulled apart. Just notice if it doesn't hurt in the back of the knee. If you feel pulling here, bend it a little. Bend it a little. I always need to micro bend because I have overextension. And then nothing moves except for the arm. Right arms. Right arm to 6 o'clock, left arm to 12 o'clock. This is triangle pros, trikonasana. Keep the space between the right armpit and the right frontal hip long. Yeah, look down to the side or up. Reach to the fingers, keep your fingers active. Two more rounds of breath here. Look down 
towards your right big toe, start to bend your right knee, coming to half moon. So if you're new and you have a block, you can place a block under your hand and start to lift the foot behind you. Your chest is open, your left shoulder is above your right, your left hip tries to be above your right. Active toes, left toes, the one, the foot that we can't see, the hand that we can't see. They're active, active, active. Maybe you can reach a finger on the floor. Ooh, nice. Wobbly, wobbly for three, two, Shiva squat. Hook that left knee behind the right. Inhale, standing splits. Hold and breathe. If you can safely, without hurting you by falling through glass or whatever, it's your responsibility. I'm not there to save you, but you can do some handstands. Now handstands, if you're new, place your hands onto the floor. Start to bring the weight from the right foot to the hands and lift your left heel. Your shoulders are above the wrist and bring the weight back to the right foot. That's a really nice shift and feel. You can do switch kicks here, you can do high fives, so switch kicks means you kick one leg up and the other one comes down. One leg up and the other one comes down. One leg up and the other one comes down. Or high five your feet. If you just, if you're a bit scared here and you're like, ah, uh -huh, I'm not putting my legs up like that. Just practice the shifting of the weight, the trusting of bringing the weight to the hands. You've got around five breaks to go. Try, this is your chance. This is your chance to try something funky. This is actually a lot of work. For three, two, feet together, fold forward, but now bring the feet hip width apart for gorilla's pose. I love gorilla's pose. So your hand is going to slide under, oh sorry, yeah, your hand under your foot. Now when I, I know, often when I normally teach classes, I just put the toes on the fingers. Lift the foot, slide your finger all the way to the heel, and then step with the foot on the hand. Spread the fingers, and then you need to bend your knees a lot. That's okay. And then let the head hang heavy. Even bend uh, or shake the no with your head. Bend the elbows and now consciously relax your brain. Relax the brain. Let the brain go. I always think the brain is like a, a bit of a pudding or something. <laughs> Very smart pudding. But let it just go poof. Inverted. Gravity is pulling on all the organs in the opposite direction. Give your wrist a little stretch. Two more rounds of breath. Release your hands. Take a halfway lift. Lengthen the spine. Fold forward. Exhale. Inhale. Halfway lift. Right foot steps to the back of your mat. Rise, crescent lunge, inhale. Hands to heart center, exhale, thumbs to your heart. Lift the heart towards the thumbs, find space and length in your spine, and then twist to the left side. So we're not collapsing on the leg, we're almost resisting the leg. So if these twists are new to you, the, the, the knee, you would have, no, not the knee, the leg is a anchor. You can press yourself away and twist. Really good for your spine, really good for your digestion. Remember the options, the variations. The knee can come down to the floor. Or, if you feel nicely balanced, whoop la, whoop la la. It looks easier than it is. Focus your eyes, keep everything active. Breathe, and if you fall out, smile. You're trying, you're learning something new. It's just a process. You're just a student of life, of yoga, and it's fun. It's an experience. For three, we meet in crescent lunge. For two, soft landing with the right foot, arms up towards the sky, safely back to the floor. Warrior two, slice it open. <sighs> 
Yes. Reverse your warrior. Left arm up towards the sky. Reach, 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 reach. And then find and keep that length and bring it forward over the neck. Oh, I can feel my heart rate. Nice feeling. Extended side angle. Different variation of the arm. What feels good to you. You can look down as well. Totally fine. Check out the knee above the ankle. Twist your chest open. And then reverse triangle. We press into both feet. Left arm comes up. Full triangle. Let's take our time to set it up. Walk the foot. I like to walk the foot in, but you don't have to do that. Hips are open, boing, as if you want to bring your tail a little bit more to the back there. As if you want to show the outside of your right buttock to the wall. Hello, look at my buttock. Yeah, and then left arm forward, right arm back. Reach, reach, reach. That reach creates length in your spine, creates openness in your torso. Already creates length in the side, uh, left side of the body. And then there you go, 6 o'clock, 12 o'clock. Close your eyes, three breaths here. Notice if the back of the left knee is hurting. Keep, keep a slight bend if that feels better. Just play with mini, mini subtle adjustments. Even pressing into the ball of the right, left big toe. Notice what that does. Obviously the pressure changes the position of the left knee, changes the bone into the left Hip socket, all these little things are important. Wonderful, look down. There you go, let's fly. Left hand on block or fingertips to floor. And then maybe walk that left hand. It, I think it's almost impossible to, specifically the first time, you go, okay, put my hand there and now find a pose. No, it's like trying it out. Does my left hand have to go more to the left, more to the front? You're trying to find balance. And that's just, a matter of trial and error. Keep the right fingers active. Maybe you lift just your thumb and your pinky. Maybe you keep your index finger as a little assistant to the floor and then maybe you lift it. Wobbly for three. Keep breathing and smiling for two. Shiva squat. Exhale. Woo! Standing splits. Lift the right leg up towards the sky. And there we go different people and that's a nice thing in yoga it doesn't matter if you've practiced once or a million times you can choose the option that suits you and some days i feel like handstands and some days i don't just make sure there's quite some space between your hands and your feet spread your fingers and then point the right toes lift the left heel this is a handstand the weight is on your hands and then when it's enough, you give your shoulders a rest, place the left heel down. If you want your switch kicks, go ahead. Try to slow them down. The second leg kicks up quite quickly. So if you go one leg up and like the second leg is a little bit late, so go boom, boom, right left, right left. Off we go, yes. Nice, nice vessel, good. Keep going. Awesome, Mary. There you go. Whoop, whoop. I hope there's no glass, no vases around you there for three, <laughs> two, fold forward, feet together. Awesome. Bring the feet again as wide as your hips. Bend the knees. Hold on to your opposite elbow. And now let your head be heavy. Three breaths here. Inhale, halfway lift, hands can come to your shins. Step back, plank pose, exhale. Breathe into your plank pose. Downward facing dog, exhale. Stay in down dog, breathe, three more breaths here. And then we're really going to wind down. Still working in strength, stability, flexibility. Just less standing. Closer to the floor, more grounded.
Look towards your right hand and bring your right knee to the right wrist. Right knee to your right wrist, half pigeon. Left foot comes underneath the body, bring the shin down to the floor, and then bring the left knee down. You can walk, toe knee, walk your feet and your leg a little backwards. I will give you the variation where we had on the back leg, but let's first come down. I'll let you know when it's time to do that. Let's stay here for a minute, close your eyes, I'll give you some stillness. Relax your left toes, if they're tucked, untuck them. You can also come all the way down. Feel free to close your eyes. So you can stay exactly where you are. If you've been running <laughs> or cycling since we are allowed to go out again, this might be nice actually. So you can come into your fingertips, right hand somewhere in the middle so you can resist the floor. Lift the left leg and then, yeah, I would love to see Barry's face now. Yeah, 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 yeah. So either you hold on to the foot and for most that's enough. Some can bring so, um, vessel, if you hold on to the inside and then bring the, you know, it's kind of that, I think we've done that before in class, hey? So the fingers actually curl around the toes. Yeah, and then the elbow points up. That's it, that's it. Now, can you look forward again? So you're squaring and bringing the left shoulder forward as well. That's it, beautiful. You can also come into fingertips. Last little add-on, you can stay there or the big toe can slide to the elbow and then you can come into this shape. This is not for everybody, so if you're just in your, if you're just holding on to that foot, that's fine. Close your eyes, lift your chest, point that right elbow up for three, Woo. two, smile. <laughs> That's better. <laughs> Slowly let go. Woo! Nice. It feels good. Feels good. With control, everything with control, we come out. So walk your left knee a little closer. Tuck your left toes. Lift the knee. And now first, heel to chest. Knee to chest. Breathe in. Press strong. Downward facing dog. Step the foot down. Close your eyes for two breaths. And just notice, it's almost like your right leg is longer than your left. Feels a bit as if you're skewed. So we'll, uh, we'll fix that now. Look to the left wrist, left knee to the left arm. And then bring the foot diagonally underneath you. Take your time to set up. We have time. I'm going to turn to the other side of my mat so I can see your beautiful smiley faces. Yes. All right, elbows or hands down. One full minute of creating that space. Slow deep breaths. Relax your jaw, relax the skin on your face. I love requests. So even if you see a shape on whatever, probably Instagram huh, nowadays, and you're like, I want to try that. I want to know how that works. Or I've tried it and I, I, I can't get it. Just ask me. I would love to get requests. I can break down poses for you. We're small little groups here. So, you know, you can even ask me questions if you want to. Take two more rounds of breath. All right, stay or add on. Different variations, different people, and this side might feel different too. So I like to slide the knee a little in, and then for a lot of people, just holding onto that foot is like, oh, really 
really it is the length of the muscle here in front it's a lot otherwise draw it in and then maybe so the thumb is up my hand is on the, in, the, the inside the big toe side and then while you bring it the fingers loop through elbow points up right shoulder comes back forward look to the front yeah and then smile up smile corners of the mouth up to the sky close your eyes and breathe Stay or add on. Slide the toe to the inside of the elbow. Wave at the neighbors. And then lift your chest. It helps to lift up. So you're not collapsing into the floor. You're actually going up. Up. The groin is working here. Up towards the sky. Yes. The legs are active. As if you want to push yourself or resist the floor. It's almost like you're squeezing the knees towards each other, like a Yeah. Awesome. For three, two, gently let go. Remember, we move out with control. Slide the knee in, tuck, lift, oh. inhale, downward facing dog. Ah, exhale, last down dog of your practice, maybe of the day. Enjoy it. Notice how open and warm your body feels. How nice it is to be so connected to your breath. And then look forward and slowly walk or step to the top of your mat. Now just notice if you're warm enough. So maybe you want to put something warm on. Well done, looking good, awesome, feels good, hey? I can see from the smiley faces that we are feeling happy. All right, a little bit. Um, come forward into traditional Paschimottanasana. You can wiggle your bum from right to left. So officially we have five minutes to close. That's why I say, you know, once you're in Savasana, you can totally ignore my instructions. I'll take us away. You can even, it's nice to maybe put a timer for yourself and say, you know, when, when normally I'm the timekeeper for your Savasana, but you can make yourself your own timekeeper. Just go 10 minutes. Mm, yum. Shavasana or meditation, you know? All right. Fold forward. Very, I assume, <laughs> if you have a belt, I've seen your big muscles, Barry, and I know what kind of other exercise you do. So maybe you want to use a belt. If you don't have one, just sit straight. If you feel the backline stretch, you're in the right place. Close your eyes and breathe. I actually started a little bit after our time, so we have a little bit more than five minutes. But still, if you really want to enjoy your Shavasana. Feel the breath, come back to your slow inhales and exhales. Notice if you're clenching your teeth. <sighs> Three more rounds of breath. Roll up, breathe in. Come to your back, either you roll back or you hold on to the knees and you uh, roll back like that. Nice. Wiggle a little from right to left. And you can totally close your eyes to the end of class. Maybe if you're not sure, you quickly look and then you just close your eyes again. Rock the knees right to left and then let them fall to the left side. Very often my spine goes pop. It actually feels quite nice. You can press the back of your head in the floor and wiggle. So you lift your both shoulder blades and wiggle uh, that right shoulder blade back down to the floor. If you want, you can turn your face to the right side, to the right hand. 
And can you now let go, so really relax everything. A bit of space between the top and the bottom lip. Slowly bring the knees back to center and then roll them to the other side, to the right side. I love to press the back of my head in the floor and just go shimmy, shimmy, shimmy with left shoulder down. And I really notice in these twists that I can twist a lot. The twist feels deeper when I have my knees to the left. Here it's harder for me to, to get my left shoulder back down to the floor. Relax your belly. Breathe. Oh, there's my cat. If you want to see my cat, <laughs> there's my cat. She loves coming in Shavasana because she likes soft energy. She doesn't like the screaming, huh? No. <laughs> Her name is Yuna. She meditates with me every morning for 20 minutes. So cute. It's our morning routine, huh? Two more rounds of breath. Inhale to bring the knees back up. And then I'll give you a minute to do whatever you feel like. So you can already come to Shavasana if you want. You can bring the leg up the wall. You can do a shoulder stance, a plow, maybe a head stance. And then also just check if you're warm enough. Warm enough for Shavasana. So should the, the, there's routines. We have morning routines, evening routines, and they're very important because they just give a sense of routine, routine but also rituals. Rituals are very important. So what is your ritual to prepare your body and your environment for Shavasana? It's almost like you're preparing, you're setting that stage. Do you need socks? Do you need to... Send your pets away, put different music on, take four more rounds of breath, and then we'll slowly meet in Shavasana. So Shavasana is with both legs. Traditionally, Shavasana is with both legs a little wider than the mat, and the feet fall out to the side, and the palms face up, and then you close your eyes. If you have something that you can put on top of your eyes, a pillow, maybe even a sleeve or a t-shirt. It's really nice to create some darkness. So all your senses can switch off. I'll be your timekeeper for a minute or two, but I would really suggest and recommend six to nine minutes of Shavasana or maybe even meditation. On my Spotify list, there is a, a music list or my Spotify profile, there is meditation music. If you can't find it, just ask me and I'll send you the link. It has more than 300 songs of meditation and yin music. So you can just switch that on, put your timer on for 10 to 15 minutes and just float, float into pure bliss. I'll let you know when it's time to come out, but even at that stage, you can choose to to stay where you are. Shavasana, letting go. Stillness. Integration. Nowhere to go. Nothing to do. Let your body be heavy. Let your bones be heavy. Let your muscles soften. Let your skin be soft.
If you are in a really happy place, just stay there. Put on a timer. Otherwise, start to take a couple of really nice deep breaths in and out. <sighs> and then start to stretch your arms over your head. As if you're waking up in the morning, you can open the mouth.